Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me. So this week I wanted to tell you guys a story, actually. So yeah, this is going to be my very first story time video. Yay, very exciting, I know. Um, and yeah, it's going to be my story of getting yelled at, the DMV. So before I begin, I want to say that this experience was a good experience. I didn't get called out or outed in front of everybody. It was a very it was a very like uplifting experience, actually. I legally changed my name to Samantha a little while ago, so I was all set to go down to the DMV and like have them give me my new ID with my new picture and like my new name and everything. So I went down last week with my friend, and I like had all my paperwork. I was like ready to go. I had my my documents. I had my ID. I had my like letters from my doctor. Like everything I needed. And I get there, or uh, so I thought everything would be. And I get there, and I like wait in line, and it's like a short line, so it was fine. I get up to this woman, and she's very nice. She's very like polite and everything. I say, hi, I'm here to update my picture and change my name and my license. And she says, okay, no problem. Let's like see your paperwork. Oh, see your paperwork and make sure that you have everything that you need. And so I was like, okay, here you go. And I gave it to her. And she was looking through it and she said, oh, you're just missing this one form. Let me give it to you. So she was like, fill out this paper and then come back and see me. Like, it'll be fine. And I was like, okay, cool. And so me and my friend went and we filled out the paper. And then we got back in line. And when we got up to the, like, the front of the line, I got a different lady. But she was actually right next to the lady that was the lady that I went to. Does that make sense? I walk up and I say the same thing. Hi, I'm here to update my picture and change my name or my license. And so I give her my documents, including that form that the other lady gave me. And she looks through them and she's like, oh, okay, you've had your social security card changed already, yes? And I was like, oh, no, I haven't. Um, I'm pretty sure I have to do that after this. Like, I need my ID with my new name on it to do that. And she's like, um, no, you need to do that first. Um, I can't help you if you don't have that. So, like, I'm sorry, you can do that. And then come back. And I was like, um, okay, like... I guess I'll come back. Like, I didn't have any, I couldn't, like, argue with her or anything. So me and my friend are, like, walking out. And we're, like, at the door at this point. And, like, I hear someone yelling, like, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me. Like, across the whole DMV, like, everybody's looking at me. It's so embarrassing. Like, and I turn around, like, me, like, and I just, like, go like this. And I'm, like, me. And she's, like, yeah, come here. And it's the lady that I first went to, like, when I first got to the DMV. So I went up to her and she's like, I looked at your papers before, right? Let me give them another look. And so she looked at the papers and was like, okay, wait one second. And she like walked away and she came back and she's like, okay, follow me. And she brought me over to the places where you get your pictures taken. And she's like, I'm going to take care of this for you. Like, it's going to be fine. Like, no, don't worry about it. And she did it for me. Like, like I went over there and she was like, oh, you just missed this thing on the form. And she like had me fill it in or like answer some question. And she's like, okay, we're going to take your picture. And she like told me to sit like in the chair that you get your picture taken in. And she's like, smile, it's got to look good. And I was like, okay. And I was like fixing my hair and stuff, like getting all cute. And she was like, take your time, take your time. You need to look fabulous, right? And I was just like, oh yeah, you know, you know, girl. <laughs> Like, she was just so adorable and, like, so sweet. Like, it was the best experience. She printed out my new, or the temporary license that I needed because the hard copy was being printed and mailed to my house. So she gave me the temporary one, and she's, like, she handed it to me, but she looked at it first, and she was, like, oh, wait. And she, like, handed it to me. She's, like, let me reprint it for you. And I looked at it, and it still had an M on it, like, for mail. And so she's like, I can, I'll reprint that for you. And so she reprinted it right away and changed it to an F for me. And like, I just thought that was really nice because I like hadn't had it changed on my security, social security card. So I feel like she kind of just let it slide because she knew that I was going to be going to the social security place, but I don't really know if I should be saying that. So keep that to yourself. <laughs> I don't know if the other person like didn't want to help me or like something like that, or if it was just a complete accident, but. This woman really looked out for me and like went out of her way to help me. Not to mention, I also got to skip the hour line when she said, okay, follow me. Like, thanks, girl.
I guess the point of this story is I just want to tell you guys not to be be afraid of going to these places because I know that as trans women we hear all these horrible stories about people being verbally abused and verbally assaulted or even like actually physically like assaulted at places that you would just have to go as a person like the DMV or like the doctor's office and just it can be scary like anything there's always going to be people that aren't accepting and that might want to give you a hard time because of who you are you just have to know that it's not right and it'll get better for you they'll get theirs and you'll get yours so don't even worry about it i hope you guys enjoyed that little story time video if you guys enjoyed it put it down in the comments and i'll be sure to tell more stories but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye